Okay, happy Halloween. Well, not quite yet. It's actually Indian summer here, but I have to think about what we're going to do for Halloween this year because, you know, every year I try to create a new treat. Now, this one was out last year. It was such a huge success. We are going to do caramel apples, but it's not really caramel because you know what caramel is? It's sugar and butter melted down into this really thick, gooey, yummy sensation with tart apples. Wow, right? But we're going to do it differently this time. Uh, we're going to make it naked. Uh, and how we're going to do it is with our, the sugar that we're going to use is going to be maple syrup, pure maple syrup. The nice thing about maple syrup, it is not raw, but it is full of minerals. And if you've ever left maple syrup out of the refrigerator, you will see that it does get moldy, which tells me that it's actually alive in some way. All right, and the key ingredient. Now this is called lacuma powder. It's L-U-C-U-M-A. It is from a Peruvian uh, fruit, and it's actually uh, dehydrated. It's very caramely flavored. Uh, it's considered somewhat of a superfood, but more of a sweetener. It has some properties, some healing properties in it. Uh, it's not easy to find, but it's not that difficult to find. If you cannot find it in your health food stores, then look online, L-U-C-U-M-A. Okay, and we're gonna mix that in with the maple syrup. There we go, down a little bit. Get my little spatula. Now these two things together, Let's see, one cup, okay. So that was one cup of maple syrup and one cup of lacuma powder. You see how that's getting nice and thick in there? Yeah. Caramel colored. You wanna get all the lumps out. That's why I'm using a whisk and I'm using a big bowl so I have some space to move around. Get some muscle in there. I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of sea salt just to balance the sweet Give it a nice salty caramel -y flavor. Now this is gonna be a little bit lumpy, so you gotta work it for a while. Now, if you wanna do um, like a dip, you know how sometimes you go to the store and you see a caramel dip? You can just leave it just like this. And you can slice some apples and use it as a caramel dip. It's going to kind of solidify a little bit, but not much. So in order to solidify it so it holds on to the apple, we're gonna put some coconut oil in it. But first, we need to melt the coconut oil, which is what we're doing here. I have some coconut oil in a container and it's in a hot bath. And you can see that it's melted down there. I just gotta get it so it's on the top. I'm gonna turn it sideways for a second. There we go. Okay. All right, sometimes you gotta really get a hold of this thing get in there, consider this your workout. <laughs> get some arm exercise in there. You see how smooth that's getting? Okay, so now we're gonna add the coconut oil. Let's see, it's all ready to go, it is. All right, so I'm thinking about three, quarter cup, three tablespoons, quarter cup, same difference. Um, the great thing about this is that uh, you don't want it to have too much of a coconut flavor. You just want it to be enough so that it will solidify. So it's nice and warm still. And it's kind of a warm day out, so it's not going to solidify really fast, which is great because we want to be able to work with it. The only problem with that is it's not going to stick very well. So on a cold day, know that this will harden pretty rapidly. On a warm day, it may be take a while. So you might wanna um, make your apples cold. If you have your apples that are already cold and you dip it in, it'll kinda hold on to it. So let's see how this works today. Already it has changed the texture. It's smoother, it's creamier. You can see it's got a little gloss to it. It's getting thicker too. All right, now I'm gonna transfer this into a deeper bowl because when I go in with my caramel apple, I'll be able to really grab the caramel. Um, but I'm gonna set this aside for one second because I want to prepare a possible garnish. I wanna have that all ready to go. So, you know, you've seen caramel apples in the past that have chocolate on them, coconut shavings, 
nuts, what else, chocolate chips, and of course, you are welcome to make this however you like. We're going to um, create some pecan chunks to roll it in as an option to have a nutty caramel apple. Okay, I made them pretty even so that they're going to stick nicely and I'm going to put them in a flat bowl where I can roll it in afterwards. Okay, now back to our caramel, which hasn't really hardened much. Like I said, it's a warm day. And look at that, nice and smooth and creamy. Twisty turny out there. Put it here for now and pour it into this bowl. Now you don't have to do this, I just find it's a little easier when it's a deeper bowl to twirl the apples around in it. And if you want to do a lot of apples, this is going to make a half a dozen. Uh, if you want to do a lot of apples, then go ahead and double or triple the recipe. And if you're buying lacuma powder and you haven't found it into the stores and buy a couple of containers, it lasts a very long time and it's nice to have on hand. If you ever want to do a caramel sauce uh, of any kind for any reason, I use this sauce a lot in some of my desserts, like the turtle pumpkin squares if you see them on my website. Here we go. Okay, so now we have our green apples. I like the green apples because they're tart and it mixes well with the sweet, but you can use any apple that you like. You can use red apples if you like. And then there's popsicle sticks of various sizes. This one's a little thicker, makes it a little easier to hold on to. Put it right, and it, just stick it right in the top of the apple by the stem if you can. Push it in so you have a nice <clears throat> firm grip on it. See? And then we're just going to roll it in the apples. Roll the apples in the caramel, I mean. Let some drip off. Now the coconut should give it a little bit of thickness because the apples are slightly cooled. I'm going to remind you one more time that this is a warm day, so we're not going to have that instant gratification. All right, there we go. I'll put that one right in the middle there. And then repeat it again. Boy, there's some wind out there today. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, it's starting to it's starting to thicken up a little bit. Now this one, I am going to put in the pecans. All right, we have a lot of stuff coming off here, so I'm gonna use a little bit of the spatula to even it out, take a little of the excess off. Oh, you see that? Okay, and then we're going to dip it into our pecans. You're making this a heartier treat. You can do this with coconut, chocolate chips, other nuts if you'd like. granola, whatever excites you. There you go. Two down. Four to go. Okay, last one. That was pretty quick and easy. Don't forget to involve the children. This is, they don't know how caramel's made. Tell them this is how caramel's made. And they'll, they, they'll believe it. It tastes as good, if not better. I promise you that. And I have some picky children, I can tell you. Here we go. The last one, six. Looks like you could actually make a seventh for good luck. With that recipe, that's one cup of lacuma, one cup of maple syrup, and happy Halloween!